doesn't take a hurricane to cause significant damage within the city. All that tropical activity brings a possibility of heavy rainfall later this week, as you just heard Andrew talk about. City leaders already taking action to protect residents. Yeah, Channel 5's Matt Riss finds out exactly what the city is doing, even without an exact forecast. Matt? Leaders from cities across the valley already met twice this week to discuss emergency management. The behind-the-scenes activity is all part of a plan to keep you safe. From the road, you might think this South Westlaco building is abandoned. Inside, a buzz of activity. If we're preparing last minute, it's never going to work. Fire Chief Antonio Lopez and city crews are taking no chances. Piling dirt, tying up sandbags to give out in case of flooding later this week. One of the main things that we're preparing on today is the uh, creation of our, of our sandbag teams and uh, having our public works department uh, was assigned to that uh, to have sandbags ready in case we were need that for the general public. It's not just Westlaco. Lopez said other cities are eyeing the tropics and doing this dirty work now. With this uh, being in hurricane season, possible storm brewing uh, in the Caribbean over the Yucatan right now, uh, gets us all prepared and makes us all uh, need to get things prepared. The city is also cleaning out drainage ditches and pipes to make sure floodwaters have an easy way out. Lopez said you can play a part in helping city crews. If you notice trees or brush in a drainage ditch, call your local city hall immediately so they can clean it in preparation for rainfall. As for those sandbags you saw, it's still too early for any distribution. We'll update you if that changes. Live in the studio, Matt Rist, Channel 5 News at 6.